Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the first step of SLR parser that is find out the canonical set of items for the given context free grammar. As we know that how to calculate the canonical set of items by using closure and go to functions. If you want to know more details about the uh, closure and go to function, please watch my previous video which can be uploaded in the my channel. Okay. Now, come to here we are going to take the simple example to understand clearly how to find out the canonical set of items for the given context free grammar. Now, this is the given context free grammar in which so initial step is we have to add the augmented grammar for the given context free grammar. What is augmented grammar for this one that is e dash derives dot e. Okay. So, that is the augmented grammar and after dot there is a capital E. Now, so look at the diagram. So, to look at that uh, board. Now, what is augmented grammar? E dash derives dot e is the that is called as uh, augmented grammar. After that, there is a capital E. Now, for E, there is a productions. Now, we need to add the uh, productions for the capital E. What are the two productions here? Now, E derives dot E plus T and E derives dot T. Okay. So, why we can add that these two productions means after that there is a capital E. Okay. E has a two productions. We have to add the these two productions by adding the dot symbol. Okay. Now, come to here E is over and next one is there is a capital T. Now, capital T means it is a non-terminal symbol. Now, capital T has a two productions in the given context free grammar. Now, we need to add the these two productions with the dot symbol that is called as T derives T derives dot T t star f and t derives dot f. Now, t is over and next one is capital F. Capital F means it is also a non-terminal symbol. F has a two productions add those two productions with dot okay. that is f derives dot open bracket e and close bracket and f derives dot i d. So, this is called as closure of i 0. So, that is Initially, we need to add the augmented grammar for the given context for grammar okay. and then is there any non-terminal symbol after that. Now, if there is a production for that particular non-terminal symbol, then we need to add the particular production by adding the dot on right hand side. Okay. Now, come to here. So, what is the actual production here? This is the production closure of I 0. This is the augmented grammar. E has a two productions. We have to add the these two productions with the dot. And there is a t, t has a two productions and then we need to add the these two productions with a dot and f is the non-terminal symbol and f has a two productions. Now, we have to add the these two productions by adding the dot on right hand side. Okay. So, this is the uh, how to calculate the that is called as closure function for the given that is called as context free grammar that is a closure of i 0 and then we need to apply the go to function for each and every symbol after dot in the closure of i 0 that means apply the go to function for i 0 comma capital E and after that t after that f after that open bracket and then i d. Okay. So, that is if you apply the uh, that is called as a closure function for that is uh, sorry go to function for capital E that is okay. So, our next one is i 1 apply the go to function go to of that is called as i 0 comma capital E. So, if you apply the that is called as uh, uh, go to function for capital E simply you have to check the dot symbol only one position that is E dash is E dot E dash is E dot and is there any production yes there is one more production E derives E dot plus T. Okay. So, this is the I 1 we need to apply the go to function for capital E now these two uh, symbols can be applied. Okay. So, simply the dot symbol can be moved only one position on right hand side. So, this is called as what is that is called as closure of I 1. Okay. So, that is called as closure of I 1 and next one is so E is over and next one is come to the T. So, if you apply the go to function for T I 0 comma T means E derives T dot E derives T dot. Okay. So, that is come to here I 2 go to of I 0 comma T means simply this dot symbol can be moved only one position on right hand side and this one also can move only one position on right hand side. 
e derives t dot and e derives t dot star f so this is the i2 and next one is t is over and next one is we need to apply the go to function for capital f so if you apply the capital f then that is called as simply we have to shift the dot symbol only one position on right hand side for capital f okay so look at the that is called as a uh, uh, item i3 go to of i0 comma capital f simply this dot symbol can be moved only one position on right hand side okay and next one is we need to apply the go to function for open bracket now if apply the go to function for that is called as i0 comma open bracket now this dot symbol only one position can be moved on right hand side okay that is called as open bracket dot e okay close bracket now there is a non terminal symbol right so e has a productions how many productions we have for the e yes we have two productions now add those two productions with the dot e derives dot e plus t e derives dot t okay after that there is a non terminal symbol again okay that is a t t has a two productions add those two productions with the dot t derives dot t star f t derives dot f again there is a capital f f has a two productions add those two productions with the dot f derives dot open bracket e close bracket f derives dot id is it right so that is till now okay so open bracket is over in the closure of i0 and next we need to apply the go to function for f derives id so that is now come to here so this is the i5 apply the go to function for i0 comma id f derives id dot okay so this is uh, how to apply the go to function on closure of i0 now come to here so that is closure of i0 is over till now okay that means already we applied the all the symbols after that okay it may be a terminal or either non terminal okay we need to apply the go to function that means the dot symbol can be moved only one position on right hand side for each and every production in the i0 now come to the i1 is there any symbol after dot yes there is a plus that means we need to apply the go to function i1 comma plus if you apply the go to function for i1 comma plus that means that dot symbol can be moved only one position on right hand side okay so that is now that is so go to i1 comma plus okay e derives e plus dot t as we know that if there is a non terminal symbol after dot then we have to search in the given context free grammar is there any productions now we need to add those two productions along with dot okay t has a two productions now t determines dot t star f t determines dot f again there is a capital f f is a non terminal symbol now we need to apply the go to sorry we need to add the f productions with the dot f has a two productions f derives dot e and f derives id okay this is we have to apply the go to function for that is called as i1 comma plus now i1 is over now come to the i2 in i2 there is a star after dot we need to apply the go to function for star also if apply the go to function for star then t determines t star dot f okay and then there is a f is it right f has a two productions we need to add the those two productions by adding a dot on right hand side now look at the that is called as item here okay now this is the i0 apply the go to function i2 comma star t derives t star dot f after that there is a capital f f has a two productions add these two productions with dot okay so till now that is i2 is over now come to here i3 is there any symbol after dot in i3 now come to the i3 is there any symbol after dot no okay there is no any symbol after dot now come to the i4 now there is a capital e after dot we need to apply the go to function for capital e if apply the go to function for capital e of i4 then the dot symbol can be moved on right hand side only one position that means it becomes f derives open bracket e dot close bracket similarly e derives there is a e e dot plus t is it right okay so now we need to apply the go to function for okay i8 okay so that is called as go to of i4 comma capital e if i apply the go to function for capital e then it become f derives open bracket e dot close bracket and there is a one more production after dot capital e okay that production is e derives e dot plus t 
okay this is how we will get that what is the go to function for i4 comma capital e and next one is when you talk about the go to function for i6 so in i4 all the productions are over okay look at uh, this i4 okay t is already ended in that is called as i2 and f is already ended in i3 and open bracket is already ended in i4 and id is ended in i5 that's why no need to apply the go to function for all the remaining symbols after dot in i4 and next one is come to the i6 here okay so in i6 okay i5 there is no any symbols in the i6 there is a capital t now we need to apply the go to function for capital t if you apply the capital uh, go to function for capital t then e determines e plus t dot okay is there any symbol yes there is a production t determines t dot star f now okay so that is okay i9 apply the go to function i6 comma capital t okay so that means e derives e plus t dot and there is one more production so we need to add that that is called as t determines t determines t dot star f okay this is the actual production and next one is t we need to apply the that is called as f if is already over and open bracket is already over and id is also a over and next one is come to the i10 i10 means that is called as where we need to apply the go to function i7 okay so i6 is over and next one is there is i7 after that there is a capital f we need to apply the go to function for capital f that is okay so that is called as 7 comma f okay it become t determines t star f dot okay is there any symbol after dot f no okay open bracket is over and id is also a over and next one is now till now i7 is over come to the i8 there is a close bracket now need to apply the go to function for close bracket so if you apply the go to function for close bracket then it become i11 okay go to of i8 comma close bracket f determines open bracket e close bracket dot okay and next one is so e plus is over and after that there is no any symbols and here there is no any symbols and there is no any symbols so this is how we can calculate the canonical set of items for the given context free grammar now uh, please observe carefully is there any doubts please uh, comment in the that is called as uh, in the comment box okay or is there any problems then you need to uh, you have to give the that is called as uh, uh, take uh, what is the uh, example problems and we'll do that more number of problems okay on this video thank you very much